Thank you everybody. I am Dr. Suman Dukuila, Assistant Professor of Health Technology. So I have prepared a content on advanced web technology. So there are several fields for web technology uh, which will give us and the students the elaborated knowledge how to develop a web page and how to develop a web content uh, with a professional uh, manner. So people can use several web tools already available in the system only available in the market but once you are using the tools you have to know what the internal coding reflecting to that tool means not just mechanically you are using the tool you have to know the internal coding of the tool use the tool and do the coding and change it accordingly most important thing that once you are a web developer you are uh, developing a web page and some expert people are developing a web page same web page but quality matters and the quality and the view total depends on CSS cascading style sheet so today my topic of discussion is CSS so everybody are using web pages everybody using web pages through your uh, laptop through the uh, through your uh, uh, hands mobiles etc but view matters if it is attractive view people will look on your page if it is not attractive people just ignore and overlap your web pages so cascading style sheet is a very very important tool when you are working with dhtml what is dhtml dynamic hypertext markup language fine now so as i see cascading style sheet css cascading style so once a web page is there the CSS will be the code which will uh, uh, take the responsibility of the quality of your page. Suppose here yeah, there is a table. Casually you can write, draw the table, but if you use proper CSS code, proper CSS tool, the table will be attractive and make a and a reflect a 3D view there. You check once you history of CSS. So CSS cascading style sheet. Uh, you have to write with. In, within the HTML hypertext markup language HTML code within that HTML code you have to run the CSS uh, uh, style sheet history is that that Tom Bates founded CSS initially there is no CSS people are working with just casually HTML code but HTML code is blended or embedded with CSS and uh, attractive looks come in a page you can uh, check the difference same page you have write without CSS Handset or in your laptop, same page you do the styling with CSS, there is a huge difference. And in the, at the end of the day, it is a marketing. The page that will attract the most will gain the maximum follower, maximum view. Now, check here is a once you are writing H CSS, this is the CSS uh, H1, that is the block of the CSS, that block of the CSS will be embedded with your HTML block. What is cascading as I told earlier, you, once you are working with the CSS, you set the points. Suppose this is here in the slide, I have given the ideal uh, setting, ideal points, 18 points times family new, 36 points. What is the space between the, you are setting the space between your writing, major parts of CSS. Once you are writing, three issues you have to take care, one is selection, property and the value. So, you are reading, you are uh, designing the CSS, you are putting the CSS to your basic HTML page. Make it the color, size, etc. You set it operator, whatever that, that is the standard view you have to set. Then your property and the value will set accordingly. So you have to write the code, text align, write color blue. There is a certain example that I am writing set can I text align then the text will be aligned fine if you don't write text aligned the casually or scattered text will come then you give right right position color what about the color I have set it blue and a background color will come then the color will come accordingly now first CSS C as I told that your CSS will be embedded with your HTML. That is the basic HTML page, right? That is the basic HTML page for CSS script. See, you are fetching your CSS file 
and you are putting the CSS file within the HTML. Check. This is the basic HTML page. Your CSS is outside. Then you are invoking that CSS to your HTML. Style, text, color, and this. Then the page and say check the page will the message below is the outcome of the page. So same thing you test without the CSS support. You will find that the page will come, the page will obviously come, but it will not give that expected quality output. Now check there are several fonts. You are checking style, style equal to H1 color within the H1 block, you have to set color, font family, text, Indian degree 1 cm, background equal to yellow. So according to your needs, suppose in a page, there are several uh, writings are there. Then you set the CSS accordingly. If the writing is less and you have to uh, cover the page, then you set the uh, font size etc according to your requirement means the page should be fit to the web page and to the human eye accordingly you have to set your css uh, parameters font size text index you have to set your parameters according to your requirements now this is also a uh, html page a here text style text indent background color in addition you write so they are writing right the writing will be deferred see here in the green that is some writing in the yellow that is some writing in the light green there is some writing so you have to check first one has no background second one is yellow background uh, third one has light green background so according to need you check and set the background color etc this is the example and this is the outcome Here also, initially you check that CSS is the tool for style sheet. It is quite larger, the heading is quite larger, and your text is more there. So you set the yellow as background and set the CSS color within that. This is the code, this is the expected outcome. And H1, H2, H3, you know that up to H1 to H6, the size of the uh, size of the html heading will differ here h1 maximum once you go for h1 to h6 that will be maximum to minimum that will come now check this is the linking option so two ways you can uh, work with that external size sheet one is uh, linking that is css is outside code you are fetching that css within the html next one is that totally html code and you are writing the CSS cascading style sheet within the HTML. One code is there, you are within the HTML. Here, check, you are writing within the HTML. Here, linking reference, linking reference, that CSS one is coming here, that CSS one is coming, and you are just putting that external CSS here in that HTML page. And parameter P will be set with the, the parameter. This is the outcome so once you are taking the outcome class selector id selector and content selector you have to check class selector is specific particular uh, class that is web page will select you a particular class with the like-minded data that is a class selector with the like-minded data you check display the heading of color blue etc id selector it will create a id for a particular task id for a particular task and once the id selector will be there the particular tax and the particular properties will come in the html file and another is contextual selector there is certain html file you are dealing with and you are fetching some context from other html file in the mother page you have some html files and you are fetching some other contents from outside html files then you check the contextual uh, selector they are using class selector id selector conceptual selector the expected outcomes are displayed here expected outcomes are displayed here you check here another style sheet we have used with l1 ol that are the parameters 
that, that, that parameters are uh, defining the different style of writing in the CSS. L1 and OL will different styling style of writing in the in the your web page that is reflecting here. Now, if you want with a normal paragraph class selector, your normal paragraph paragraph with a bold paragraph pink with the underlined or with a box all are written as you check it is a underlined with box it is covered with box with thick line you check here it is a you can uh, size it is a, is a thick line size it is applied here thick line size here check if in the case you want to it is the same line something is bold no something is bold the font and uh, this is and first part is less size so you are setting the size the narrow large font bold in the css according to a requirement your font size large size bold with a particular color with the italics all properties are there you have to give it and in the color you can directly run the color you can directly write the color or otherwise you can write the color code here professionally you write the color code here all are available in the context reference which says color has 0066 FM the color code so if you write color code within the red you can get 20 30 types of color codes are there otherwise if you write red just red will come same thing for your font family font size etc see check whatever expected outcome according to you write in the coding series it is reflecting in the outcome there are six overlapping elements so one is there one writing is there if you want to overlap it it will overlap if you write it of absolute position suppose there is a page a particular absolute position you are blocking and that position will hold for a particular writing then you write that absolute position absolute then the pixel size so there is a screen right the pixel size you set here here i have set in right to 200 pixel bottom 600 percent the box will come square box will come that will be the absolute position where your writing will be there then you write see whatever i am saying that you are blocking the absolute position for your page this is the text position blocking and that is fixed for your writing then your expected writing will come in that blocks here also absolute position see in a page you don't know what is the outcome what is that but the expected the your vendor will get expected position so you block the expected position there here 50 property then there you put image there you put text writing animation whatever your requirement from your client there also this is the relative position so suppose there is a page one image will be there and relatively in a certain distance the writing of the image against that will be there so you check it is a relative position here check relative position is there and within a certain 15 cm centimeter apart your writing will be there that is also fine it is re reflecting holding that particular position and the writing if you want to overlap so sometimes the overlap is required your css will give provide you the code overlap and the overlapping contents will come here within that text wrapping this is called the text wrapping of the css text wrapping now you check here the background css attribute some background is, the, is there and css attribute is working within the background image you put the image down there and expected outcome is coming here if i want to give a image or a scenery in the background i set formula for full page the background is a scenery here uh, landscape is there within upon that landscape you want to write some text you can write it set background equal to image and write some text within here color repeat attachment all will be there according to your requirement you set it the color repeat and attachment this is the code uh, previous outlook uh, was there how you will work it then you check uh, 
I am saying that expected outcome that is your uh, image, background image and the expected outcome, background attachment. Without background attachment, if you write, that will come. So image is a background attachment, scroll by default, output will load like that. You also move to the scroll bar, the scroll bar, you set the scroll bar and the image will move up and down according to your need or according to your requirement. See, check. If you remove and your writing will be top or bottom or side and the image will be as a standalone entity. You can write it, make the image as a standalone entity and write the contents up and down. It will looks like this. Number one, four border in the style. Name, here you use the border, style, background, etc. So how professionally you will use it? the background jpg or bmp that professionally you use it the outcome will uh, come with that beauty outcome will reflect with that beauty now an example set the example how you will working that is the example border dashed border color border side here you have to set the width height width color height and according to your side the pixel and keep in mind when you are developing, you are writing the code, you run it, you simulate it, check what the expected outcome is coming. Then you again check, use some uh, tool like Dreamweaver, use a tool like Dreamweaver, the Dreamweaver will support you, you write the code and parallelly you can check the expected outcome. If it is not properly adjusting, you ch change the code. So I suggest that use any of the tool like Dreamweaver to do that. Now here, as I told, you are working with your text H1 to H5 according to your size. Obviously, H1 is uh, larger H2, H3 as the rule provided by HTML. See, larger, then small, larger, smaller, smaller. And border, accordingly you set, one side will be green, next side will be red with a dashed, bottom is a pink with a dashed, so different color different size different style you can use within a same html page use the concern just concern quote with concern color value concern text value etc all will be provided by the release note of the css now that is font size size what is coming you will checking red green blue magenta all are coming here so check here the font size, font large background that is the color and is coming and expected outcome and bottom the error sort, the writing as sort, it is coming. Same thing upper, lower, middle, whatever you expected. Just change the CSS parameters, change the CSS parameters. It will come. Now place pointer if you want to place the pointer using the css that you also work the pointer will move and then image or writing whatever you are uh, writing against that pointer or hand cursor it will also move so if you move the cursor your pointer whatever you set as a pointer maybe by writing maybe image it will move accordingly so these are the processor code uh, to do it Present preamp list index index is the basic HTML code and the recite absolute outcome text will come accordingly. So as this is the desired outcome, this is the final slide where you will find the desired outcome and the professional code will be there. As I told, this is a small demo. How can you use your CSS within HTML? I suggest to go to the release note in W3 school or some other. There are several laws that there. It is most of the, it is not that you are inventing in something. The several laws or clauses are there. Once you are writing in the HTML page, you just use that laws and clauses. Go to W3 school or there. Thank you for the content and I hope you can design your web page correctly.